Another morning in lovely Kenna. Got the coffee again. It's always a coffee day. Yes, you got it right. Spark plugs. Just the old ones on the ground. Four more to get out. It's that kind of day. Oh, and I gotta go back to work on my off day. Cause they want me in a speedy commercial. No days off. This is another reason why I love Toyota. They make their cars so easy to work on. It's ridiculous. And had the two. But y'all still out there trying to buy Mercedes and Chevys and Ford ain't too bad and Chevy ain't too bad. But all I'm saying is that Chevy is poo. Toyota is the way to go. This truck got 250,000 miles on it. New plugs. I already got them last night, so they're ready to go in. So plugs go in the engine. That's where we go in there. Right there. And then that's what it looked like. No more holes at the bottom. Great spark plug down there. Just go ahead on it. Drop them on up in there. Tighten them shits down. Do not cross thread them. Fuck over yourself. Putting the call packs back. Uh, eight of them. All right, got my call packs back on. Spark plugs up under there. It's the moment of truth. Oh, and I had to reconnect my battery. See what's hitting with that check engine light. Ain't no check engine light, bitch. In my Janae voice. That bitch is definitely not on. Shake that. Biggest mistake is coming to work on my off day because they want to make a commercial. Two people called off. Lying out the door. Thank you for calling Speedy Auto Engine 2 Love. My name is Jimmy. I'm here to help you. We do a diagnostics. The diagnostics usually range from $40 to $99 so we can figure out what the lights are on if you want to bring it by. Uh, those usually range about 369. So after 30 minutes of being at work, I decided to dip out and say fuck that commercial. There's only one reason why. Long story short, we don't do alignments at my shop, so I went to a fellow speedy shop to get my alignment done, and I paid hundred dollars. For a front end alignment, which should cost like 50 bucks. I paid $100 for a front end alignment and the tires were not straight. Nah, I put brand new tires on the front of that truck. And the tires started wearing fucked up. I ate through a brand new set of tires. So I went and got another brand new set of two front tires and I went back and I said, look, this shit not right. Can y'all fix my alignment? Y'all fucked up my first two tires. I just want my tires straight. So he did another alignment. Another hundred bucks, another set of brand new fucking tires. The fucking camber is still off. I'm still eating through tires. So after four brand new tires, I go back, I'm acting the ass, you know. I'm showing my ass, I'm cursing them out, I'm flexing on the buku hard. And the only reason I went over there is because y'all are speedy. Like, y'all supposed to be showing me love, you know, fucking around and, you know, but y'all fucking over me, you know. So they call my job. So they call my job, they like, look, y'all employee over here, you know, he's showing his ass, blah, 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 can y'all do something? And feel like he not on my clock. That is legit, y'all customer, y'all need to deal with him. I'm not about to call that man and tell him not to go over there and blah, 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 blah. Y'all need to settle that shit. So the shit ain't get settled. So, you know, I have my kids with me and all that shit, you know, they like, get your dumb ass out of the shop, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm doing everything itself, jabbing these motherfuckers. Well, long story short shop 
for the second year in a row, we did like all these fire ass sales and these fire ass reviews and everybody loved my shop. So they do a commercial for us. This nigga drag his ass from Carrollton to Esplanade to show his fucking face that I'm a commercial. And he's supposed to be a speedy on the blah, blah, blah. Jimmy don't do that. I'm not about to be in no commercial with that nigga, man. He fucked over me. I do not want my face to be in the same commercial with his because he is not a legit business owner. But Jimmy, you got one of the highest reviews in the shop. We need you in a commercial. We need you, blah, 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 blah. Man, if that dude gonna be in a commercial, I'm not gonna be in a commercial. Whatever. So I'm gonna bring my black ass home, clock my black ass the fuck out after 30 minutes and go my stupid ass home. Cause if y'all rocking with him, y'all not rocking with me. So whatever. And real shit, I'm not trying to take it personal or nothing. I know he a speedy franchisee or whatever the fuck, you know. But uh, I don't fuck with him. Not me. So whatever. And in all retrospect, I'm really like doing y'all a favor. So I don't spaz the fuck out on that dude on TV or anything. Uh, sitting there, me mugging him, you know. I do not take people money and don't do shit. And when it ain't done right, tell him get the fuck out of my face. I don't do that. So if he do that, we on two different wavelengths. And y'all can have him. I'll be back at work tomorrow morning when he not there. Tell him go back to his shop. I'm going to stay at my shop. He ain't bringing no million a year, so...